Hey everyone, it's day five. Uh, yesterday sucked. Hopefully today will be better. I'm not going to make any predictions on what's going to happen. I'm just going to get started. Managed to remember the battery charger today, so that's a good start at least. Now back onto the oil pump. So I left it soaking in diesel overnight and bought myself a pack of new razor blades and I'm just gonna keep working at it and see how it goes. So I'm about another hour in, um, got quite a decent amount done now and I've blunted three of my ten new blades but I need to switch to something else, this is just driving me nuts. So I'm just going to give the oil pan a rinse out with some diesel as well. I think I'll do a better job than the oil I used before just to get all of the last little remaining bits. Oh, wait a minute. Let's check the drain plugs done up first. Yes, all right. Get all those last little bits of, of sealant out. Next up, I'm going to try changing this fuel filter. Here's the fuel filter, now I've just got to separate it from its bracket, which I'm hoping will be a bit easier on the bench. Just seems it's stuck a bit on this side. There we go. New fuel filter. Good. Let's go back in the car. So I'm not going to attach the fuel lines to the fuel filter yet because one of them is on the engine and the other one is that rusty one that I'm not sure what I'm doing with. So for now, that is done. Back onto the good old oil pump. Um, while I was doing those other things, I had it soaking in some warm soapy water because fuck it, I tried everything else. Of course it made no difference, so back to pecking away at it with a razor blade. So I think I've probably been scratching away at this for three hours and I'm nearly done, there's a few little patches. I want to get some lunch, my hands hurt, I'm bored of this shit. I've pretty much accepted at this point that I'm not going to get this finished by the end of the week. That's okay, still got a lot done on the car, still going to carry on. But anyway, that's that for now. So it took fuck knows how many hours but I finally got all the crap off here just was scraping it and then went over it really lightly with some 1200 grit sandpaper just to sort of flatten it out, make sure it's all good. And hopefully the, the gasket will, so I definitely scraped a few bits of metal off, it was unavoidable and my alarm's going off. Hopefully the gasket will, will take up any slack there. So I'm just hanging this here to dry because I rinsed off all the crap after giving it a bit of a degrease. And over here we can see what's left of all the gasket I scraped off and all the razor blades I blunted in the process. Finally, I'm able to start rebuilding this fucking oil pump. Got my front main seal here. This one I don't have a socket the right size to tap it in with. So what I'm going to use instead is the um, pulley. Because that is the right size. And like with the pump shaft seal, it just wants to go flush with the edge. Not so deep that it's ruined. I'm using a soft mallet so I don't risk damaging anything. Right, so that is done, finally. Except I need to grease it. So I think I've said this before, but unlike the um, seal for the oil pump shaft, this one doesn't come pre-greased, so just to stop it burning out before it gets oil behind it. A little layer of grease around the lip. So I'd like to keep on building the oil pump, but it's not properly dry yet, so. Now it doesn't actually say to do this in the manual, but it seems like it makes sense to me just to give a light coat of oil to the oil pump parts so they're not grinding metal on metal when they first run. I think maybe the, the manual assumes everything's going back together with the oil still on it from when it came apart, whereas I've given all this a thorough degreasing clean, so. 
And you'll find me that thing I tried to do over a week, I think, which was install this ridiculous rubber o-ring that's not an o-ring. Now these are meant to be done up to um, 8.8 newton meters. My torque wrench only goes down to 10, so. That part of it's now done. Next, got to reinstall the relief valve. So relief valve thingy, then the spring. Then this top plate. And somehow, how the fuck do you do this? I've got to get the circlip in while pushing the spring down. Actually, that's not too bad. And now for the moment that I've all been waiting for, reinstalling this damn oil pump. God, I hope this works. just a bunch of bolts. And then one final piece of the puzzle, I'm going to put this whole oil pump ridiculousness to bed. Crank pulley. Done. So while I'm in this area, I'm just going to reinstall the oil pickup strainery thing. It's just another thing that required a new gasket. I think this is only a couple of quid from Toyota themselves, so I can't complain. But the question is, which way round does it go? It's got like a... There's a lens, so hard to find. There's a lip on it on one side. And the service manual just says install the gasket. It doesn't say if the lip has to go on a certain side. I'm going to assume it's a kind of crush washery type thing that it doesn't matter which way it goes on. If you're screaming at the screen that I'm an idiot, well, I can't hear you. So this plate then needs to go on as well. I can't tell you how satisfying it is to start actually putting this bottom end back together. These are all five newton meters. And I'm not even gonna bother talking that, that's just a good and tight. Click. Click. Finally. So when I said I wanted to have the engine ready to go in by the end of today, that would have included rear main seal, oil pan, timing belt, new gearbox seals, clutch, and I think that's it. So there's all the things that I haven't yet achieved that I should have to be on target. So that's it for today. I really had hope to um, get the sump back on, but I did a few dry runs, as in without any uh, gasket maker on it. And it's like a fucking steady hand game. You've got to try and get the oil pickup around the level sensor. I'm trying to do that without making it touch any other parts and then aligning the bolt holes is pretty much impossible. So I'm going to try that again tomorrow, hopefully with some help, someone else who can help guide it up. Uh, obviously today didn't really get much done other than that fucking oil pump, but at least it's done, it's back on the engine, so that's something. Pretty much given up all hope of finishing this by the end of the week now, but these things happen. What can you do? Just keep plugging away. Thanks for watching.